Okay, welcome to the tutorial for Music Video Recorder, version 0.1. And uh, what I have here is the documentation file. You can find that in the documentation folder. So it's a good idea just to follow along with the documentation file. Now, there are links to the uh, video tutorials here. Not the first ones because I'm recording it right now. But there is a link here to the YouTube authentication tutorial. So if you're having trouble with that part, go to the YouTube authentication tutorial video. It'll cover all of that in detail. In this one, we're just going to cover the features of the music video recorder, what it is and how it works. And uh, what this project does is it downloads the MP3 and a JPEG file from SoundCloud. It then renders it with Unity. And after the render is done, it automatically uploads it to YouTube and it populates the title, the description, the tags, all that. So how that works is it to download from the SoundCloud, we use the SoundCloud API. And then to render the music video, we use Unity Recorder. And then to upload to YouTube, we use the YouTube Data API version 3. Now, right now, the MP4 render from Unity Recorder has is really low quality it has compression artifacts unity is aware of the problem and they're fixing it in the meantime it only outputs a web m video file but that uploads to youtube just fine so that works and there still are some rendering artifacts in the web m video uh, but it's not nearly as bad as the mp4 is however unity is going to release an update for the recorder and fix these problems so this is just a short-term issue all right going forward how to use and this covers the initial setup so if you have a brand new project which I have here go ahead and go to the uh, build settings and go to player settings we're gonna want to come down here and set the scripting runtime to dotnet 4.0 that's gonna make uh, unity want to restart and the reason for that is actually the YouTube Data API version 3 we requires some uh, .NET 4.x stuff. And so that's why that's uh, it's required. And next, it's going to say, of course, let's get the music video demo scene open. And before I can do that, I'm going to need to import the package. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and import everything, but to cover what's here, we have the demo folder. This includes the uh, the demo scene, of course. Uh, there's a scripts folder to hold all the scripts. Simple Spectrum is available from the asset store as a standalone asset, and it does the audio vi visualization. It does the uh, audio spectrum. And then there's Unity Recorder, of course. That's the Unity Recorder asset. We have YouTube Uploader. This is the um, asset that's responsible for uploading to YouTube. I've developed this specifically for this music video recorder, but I did release it as a standalone asset if you, know, if you just want to use the YouTube Uploader. Of course, it's included with this and I actually wrote the YouTube Uploader for this music video render. All right, so the import's complete. I'm ready to go ahead and open up that demo scene. So I'm going to go to demo and so music video recorder demo. Let's open up the demo scene. And this says we're going to need to use Text Mesh Pro. The demo scene uses Text Mesh Pro. That gives us a lot better looking text for our music video. So I'm going to click import the TMP essentials. And we won't need to import the examples and the extras. We can go ahead and close that window. I'm going to clear the log because there was some errors there, but they're gone now. It was probably uh, just missing Text Mesh Pro. So let's go back to the documentation. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll up for a minute until we um, covering this YouTube OAuth authentication. If you go through the process, basically what you're going to get from Google is uh, going to be the client ID.json file. And that is the authentication for your YouTube channel. I'm just going to copy that into this project. And I'm going to move it into the root of assets. It doesn't matter where it is in the project. Any folder is fine. 
anywhere in the project's fine uh, as long as the client id.json file is in the project somewhere. So now that I have the client id.json, I will be able to upload the videos to YouTube automatically. Let's go back to the documentation and uh, get to where we are at the main part here, the music video demo scene. We've opened it up. It says, next, select the music video recorder game object in the hierarchy window. So we're going to go over here and select the music video recorder. And I'm going to give myself just a little bit more room. We can see it's populated with all this data. And to make things a little bit more clear, let me collapse all of this. And we can see there's five different sections. Scene references, SoundCloud import, song data, recorder settings, and YouTube upload settings. And then, of course, the render button that's going to render the video. So the next part here is we want to view the game objects inspector, expand the SoundCloud import section, and then we're going to want to copy a songs URL from SoundCloud. So here I'm going to expand SoundCloud import. Here's the song URL. I'm going to delete this old one and we're going to import a new uh, song into SoundCloud. Let me just go ahead and grab something like this. It doesn't matter. You just go to a SoundCloud page um, select select the song and go back to unity you want to paste that URL right here this is the URL to a SoundCloud song and click import song before I click that I'm, I'm gonna expand these so we can see what happens so I'm gonna say import song what's gonna happen when you click import is you're gonna see it's spinning for a second here you're gonna get the waiting icon it's downloading the mp3 file from SoundCloud and it's also downloading the JPEG artwork file once that's done it populates all of the data for the song data the recorder settings and the YouTube upload settings put the song over here in assets slash SoundCloud and we can see it's created a folder with the artist name and it's created a, uh, this one is the JPEG file, and this one is the MP3 file. They have the same exact file name, but one's a JPEG and one is an MP3. So going back to the music video recorder, we can see the song data. And this has the artwork reference, the artist name, song name, the genre, which comes from SoundCloud, and then the duration and the recorder settings also has a duration it's video length in seconds so the song is 148 seconds long that matches up to the length of course of the song and we have the frame rate 30 frames a second it's going to output this into a folder called renders this is going to be the file name of the video and it's going to be 1920 by 1080 and then this check mark is going to say upload to YouTube true or false of course yes as soon as the renders done let's automatically upload that to YouTube and it needs a video info which is a scriptable object I'm not going to cover that in detail here but you could just uh, leave this to the default video info and the video title now this is the title that is going to be on your YouTube video it is pulled from of this title right here of course so the video description now you could put this however you want I've, I've programmed it to say thanks for listening to the artist name or the thanks for listening to the song name and then it says by the artist name and then it says please follow on SoundCloud and it automatically links to their SoundCloud page uh, of course, it links right to this song. So that's going to be in the description on the YouTube video. You can set a privacy setting here on listed, private, or public. Um, and then you can add tags. Type them in here if you want to manually add a, another tag. And of course, if, if you don't want some of these, you can remove those. These are the tags that are going to be on the YouTube video. So now that all of that's set up, we want to take a look at how the video is going to look so we can press the play button 
and then we'll see how it looks. Now, right off, I can see there's um, there's some problems down here with the font. It doesn't have the Japanese characters. So things like this, I, I would want to adjust and fix uh, before I render the video, of course. Um, but you, we could see how the video looks before we're ready to render. Now, given these Japanese characters, this was probably a pretty bad uh, example to choose. But what I could do to fix this, for one, is I could use the TextMesh Pro uh, font creator asset to create a TextMesh Pro font that has these Japanese characters in it. So that way, um, we still could display the Japanese characters in the video. Uh, because this is not a tutorial for TextMesh Pro, I'm just going to ignore this problem and go ahead and render the video. But before I do, I'm going to go to the recorder settings and I'm going to set the video length to just six seconds um, because this is a, a longer render would take some time. So I clicked render and you can see now it's going a lot slower and it's actually rendering that music video. So one thing we can do is watch the console to see, um, but this will take a minute to finish up. Oh, it's already done. And so it says starting and uploading. So it's it's uploading the video to YouTube now. And that's just going to take a second. But one thing is let's find the um, let's find that video file. Right click on assets and say show an explorer. And we told it to go to a folder called renders. That is right here. Output folder name renders. It's not in the assets folder because we don't want these we don't want the Unity Asset Importer to process these renders. We want to keep them out of the Asset folder. If you want to move them into the Assets folder, go ahead and, and move them into there. But by default, it just puts them here. And you can see that it created the six second long WebM file that's 1920 by 1080. Okay, so that's where the actual video file is at on the hard drive. And uh, we could see here it's done uploading to YouTube it says completed so now let me go ahead and open up my YouTube channel and check it out okay so here I am on one of my random YouTube channels and uh, sure enough here it is we could see it's uploaded that video um, it's populated the title the description the tags uh, it's set to unlisted just like we had it and of course we could play this video and um, see that it's the same thing that we just rendered in in unity and the audio is there it's just uh, I don't have speakers plugged in alright so that covers the tutorial for the YouTube video recorder there's a lot of stuff you can do at this point to customize this um, you know, you can move, this is the tag, this is the artist name, this is the uh, song name. Um, I just put a circle here for the, for the artwork. You can use different music visualizers. So one thing, let's just uh, jump over to the Unity Asset Store. And I still like the old store, but um, one thing you can do is just, you know, look for different uh, music visualizers and a good one I know is rhythm visualizer and here it is rhythm visualizer pro so this is one that I've used in a lot of my music videos okay so there is a lot of stuff you can do here to customize your video um, I'm not gonna cover all of that of course in the version 0.1 here this is the first release uh, but going forward I will have better tutorials on how to customize your scene, how to customize your music video, and maybe maybe just give some uh, some ideas on stuff that I've done in in my music videos that has worked and uh, people seem to like. So, anyways, this covers the tutorial for version 01, and this is now that you have this set up, you can go to SoundCloud, and all you have to do is select a URL, 
paste it here, click import song, and then click render. And with those two with those two button clicks, you have a rendered video uploaded to YouTube and set to public out there. People are watching it. So that is going to make, I know my life a lot easier for my music video channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates and more tutorials.